There is a lot going on in the world today in end time Bible prophecy. This is June 21st, 2013. Let me take you to scripture before I present another article for you. Um, let's go to Luke chapter 21. Let, let's begin at verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Brothers and sisters, I just reported um, on a story coming out of India, and we shall have no gods before us. Yahweh is the Lord your God, and he is a jealous God. India floods kill 200 and leaves thousands stranded. And if you go to the video I just uploaded, and you look on the link, uh, click on the link rather, you will see a figure, a statue, a graven image of a God, not the God, not the God of uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. A false god, a false deity, a Hindu god uh, submerged in the water, uh, and all that you can see is from the shoulder, uh, shoulders up. Um, now there are more floods, the seas and the waves are roaring. Now in Calgary, let me bring you the story, I hope I can find it here. A lot going on in the world today. Calgo uh, Calgary flooding could force up to 100 thousand from uh, their homes brothers and sisters we are truly living in the very end of the end days here's the article and I will put the link below once again I uh, apologize for the clicking sound my external mouse sound is not working I have to try to go out and pick one up today June 21st today 2012 Canada flooding 207 dead, confirmed dead in India now. They were on a Hindu uh, pilgrimage and uh, they have perished. Now in Canada the, the, the seas and the waves are roaring. As many as 100,000 residents of Calgary, Alberta could face evacuation because of flooding, the Director of Emergency Management said early Friday. Mandatory evacuation orders have been issued for 20 communities. Bruce Burrell said, parts of southern Alberta face rising flood waters and the possibility of more rain. The levels of the Bow and uh, Elbow rivers are expected to peak overnight but not to drop until late Saturday. At the earliest, he said, I have never experienced any flooding of this magnitude. There have been no initial reports of deaths or injuries. Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper uh, said military assets, including helicopters, have been deployed. And they are deploying helicopters in India, helicopters in Canada, Alberta, Canada. Helicopters have been deployed to assist local emergency officials with rescue and evacuation efforts. Our thoughts and prayers are with those families who have been affected uh, by the serious flooding in Calgary and southern Alberta. Harper said, uh, adding that any and all possible assistance would be provided by the federal government, a state of emergency was in effect for Calgary. According to a news release from the city, police and fire officials were driving through communities broadcasting the evacuation order over loudspeakers. Residents, residents were being asked to mark their homes with an X to indicate they had evacuated. Ah, kind of like Hurricane Sandy, you know, when we're talking about Alberta, Canada, Hurricane Sandy, remember when they were marking the homes and evacu uh, evacuations taking place, loudspeaker announcements calling for evacuations. I wonder if we're going to implement martial law, maybe, in Alberta, Canada. The news release said the levels of the Elbow and Bow Rivers had risen significantly. There's a video attached uh, also brothers and sisters we are in the end 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 of the end days 
We are seeing the signs of the birth pains, Matthew 24, coming to life. There will be wars, there will be rumors of wars, there will be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. If you are not saved, please, please, I'm pleading with you. If you are an atheist, an agnostic, and if you are just a non-believer, you need to now open your eyes. Open your heart. That's my plea and my prayer that the Holy Spirit come upon you. Let your heart can be open. Let you repent now. Let you call upon the only one and true living God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And you go to Him. You drop down on your knees. You go to Him. And you repent. You acknowledge and you admit that you are a sinner. You acknowledge that the living God sent his only begotten son to die on the cross at Calvary for you so you could have everlasting eternal life in heaven. Call upon Yeshua. Call upon Jesus to come into your heart today. Send me a personal message right here on my channel. Time's running out. Leave me comments everyone.